Why do you cover your heads? Well, I don't know. I started losing all my hair, so I said, <laughs> No. <laughs> no, uh, Muslims, <laughs> Muslims cover their heads, Muslim men cover their heads out of tradition and out of respect. Not all Muslim men cover their heads, obviously, but those that do, they do so because at times, the Prophet, peace and blessed be upon him, he liked to do that. Uh, for me, I like to distinguish myself as a Muslim. And whether I'm wearing a suit and tie, which I do sometimes, or whether I'm wearing a gown like I'm wearing today, I like to cover my head because not many people cover their heads. Not many Muslims, not many men, period, cover their heads with a brimless cap. So if I'm in an airport, I'm always designated. You know what that means, right? <laughs> I always ask the people, I always ask the people in the lounge when they say, Mr. Yassin, um, you've been randomly selected. <laughs> I say, I know, I'm designated, right? And I turn around to the other people in the lounge and I say to them, is there something distinct about me that I should always be designated? And what do you think they do? They say, yes. <laughs> so, yes, Muslims, many Muslims choose to cover their heads, just like most Muslim men following the tradition of the Prophet Sallallahu choose to grow a beard. So wearing of the beard and the covering of the head together, that kind of is like a, that's an indication that a person is a Muslim. Usually now, because it could be a Buddhist, could be a Hindu, could be a Sikh, it could be a Jewish person, but it's a different, usually a different kind of hat. So, wearing of the beard is a tradition. Doesn't mean that a person cuts their beard off, they're not a Muslim, but most Muslim men, because it's a tradition of the Prophet, peace be upon him, that he told us to do, they usually grow a beard. And some of us, we like to cover our heads. Now for the Muslim ladies, that's different. The covering of their head and the wearing of loose garment and the covering of their bodies and the not showing of their attractions is a part of their uniform. God has given the Muslim ladies a specific uniform. So they would be distinguished and known as Muslim ladies. And they would not be molested. And that in the streets, when men see them, just by their, the way they're dressed, they would get some kind of respect. You don't hardly hear men whistling at Muslim ladies. <laughs> so, I mean, and don't think that the Muslim ladies are any less beautiful than any other woman. It's just that they hold and cover their beauty for their husbands. It's like pearls and diamonds. If I came to your house and I asked you, can I see your diamonds? Can I see your money? Can I see your jewels? Can I have your pin number? <laughs> you wouldn't give it to me. And you wouldn't have it in front of me. Well, our women, our wives and our mothers and our daughters, they're worth more to us, they're more precious to us than our diamonds, our gold and our pin number.